Now for the next part, we've got to find the sum to infinity of this series. And what I've done is I've written in the first term that we found out earlier as being 256. Now remember that the common ratio which we also found out R was the value 3 quarters. And we should know that if R is a value that is greater than minus 1 and less than 1, that this series, or any geometric series for that matter, will have a sum to infinity. And that sum to infinity is always given as A divided by 1 minus the common ratio R. So it is a formula that you should be familiar with. And if not, and you want proof of this, as I say, go on my website, you'll find tutorials on this, the sum to infinity of a geometric series. So if we've got this formula then, all we need to do is just simply substitute our value for A, which we found out, as I say earlier, was 256, and divide this by 1 minus that common ratio of 3 quarters, or you could enter into your calculator 0 0.75, okay? So if you work that out, what you end up with is exactly 1024. Alright, then that's the sum to infinity.